New on AM Extra, the Portland metro area is home to some hilarious and talented comedians, not just me. And that fact has inspired a new weekly segment. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's called Kickstand Picks, a guide to local comedy brought to us by Portland nonprofit Kickstand Comedy. Joining us in the studio to help us debut some awesome things to check out uh, in a new weekly segment on AM Extra. We've got Dylan Reif, Artistic Director for Kickstand Comedy. Good Actual morning. Good morning. Yes. Yes. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited to Good talk to local comedy. And absolutely. absolutely. Well, we had you in uh, at the beginning of the summer because you, you kicked off uh, Kickstand Comedy in the park. Yes. Um, just one of several things that you can go see almost every week here in town. Portland is such a good comedy town. You know, I think people often think, you know, you have to wait till the one, uh, your favorite Netflix show comes through, your mm -hmm. favorite comedian comes through once a year. We have stuff every night in town, not mm -hmm. only national touring acts, local shows, and there's just a lot of fun to be had here. So I'm excited to, to get into a couple of these shows with y'all today. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so walk us through it. We have some shows even tonight. Yes. So Portland's Funniest Person is kind of the Oscars of Portland comedy. <laughs> Every Portland comic is, you know, strives for the honor of Helium's, uh, you know, it's, it's probably the top tier award you can get in Portland. So mm -hmm. it's a big kind of bracket style March Madness for comedians. Right. And the last preliminary show is tonight for Portland's Funniest Person. Okay. So anyone can enter, you could enter. I've heard some good jokes earlier from you. <laughs> uh, and you could get up there and the folks who advance move on to the next round, and eventually someone is crowned Portland's Funniest Person. Last year was Shane Brendan. He's hosting this year. Mm -hmm. It's just a super fun show, and you get to see a ton of great talent. He is hilarious. We've got a couple friends in the prelims right now. And, and so this first round, it's audience voting, right? You, yep. you go in, you see it, you pick your favorites. And then from here, how many more rounds? I think there's two more rounds. Two It'll more? be quarterfinals okay. starting next week, and nice. then we start getting into the real Ooh, the tough stuff, okay. uh, getting into the finals. So yeah. a, lot, a lot of broken hearts. I know. Every year in this, uh, but, but, but a great chance to see some real up and coming absolutely. comedy. Absolutely. And, yeah. and it's a great opportunity for comedians because they walk away with this amazing tape. Yeah. They get to, to show other people with a packed room. It's a really fun show. Yeah, it is. So that's, that's tonight, a Friday, like we mentioned, Comedy in the Park. It's back at Laurelhurst Park. That's a great one. Tell oh. us about who you got this week. This is a really fun show, too, because it's our special partnership with Portland Parks. They do a program called Summer Free For All, where you can see free, cool shows all around Portland Parks all summer long. Music, uh, dance, and we're partnering on this special show for Comedy in the Park this week. It's an all BIPOC comedian performance lineup. Uh, you're going to see some great talent, and it's all going to have open access ASL interpretation. So uh, coming out, see a great group of comedians. Adam Posse is headlining. We've got The Real Hijinks, uh, Amani Danae, just it, it's kind of a who's who in Portland, and uh, I can't miss. I mean, we had 3,000 people come out to last oh, week. Wow. So I know Laurelhurst Park. It's like every square foot of space is packed with blankets and, and low chairs and all that. Fun it stuff. just feels very old Portland. Yeah, uh, it's just yeah. funky and fun and just a real crosshatch of all the folks that make up this awesome community we it's have in the time. city. So. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And then this weekend, people who have more time off on the weekend, yes. how can they get their laughs in? All right, well, going into the weekend, Saturday, uh, this was a postponed show from Pride Month, but we have Les Stand Up, which is a long-standing LGBTQIA plus uh, queer stand-up show uh, run by Arlo Weyerhaeuser and Kirsten Koopenbender. They're two of... Portland's funniest people. I know I keep saying that, but their their voices are very unique, mm -hmm. and the show is just so uh, inclusive and fun. And it's at the New Siren Theater oh, on cool. Mississippi, which if you haven't been, they moved from downtown to the heart of Mississippi. Uh -huh. It's just a really fun night. You can roll down the street with through a couple bar hopping and end <laughs> up at the Siren for just a really cool, fun, vibrant show called Les Stand Up. I like the way you think, Dylan. You got my, my Saturday <laughs> night planned out. And then Sunday, if, uh, SNL fans might recognize this group. Yes. So Saturday night sold out uh -huh. for this group, but the pro tip is go Sunday for Please Don't Destroy. You've seen them on SNL. They they kind of took the torch from Andy Samberg and uh, his crew, the Lonely mm -hmm. Island crew. Mm -hmm. They do very funny, amazing sketch comedy. They're second generation comedic royalty. Really? They're, two of the three of them are the kids of writers from SNL, including no like way. the old head writer in the 80s, Tim Hurley. So they're, they, it was kind of, uh, you know, in their blood, so to speak. And they're just very wild brained 
young people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's an old uh, fuddy-duddy, <laughs> but they, they really have some interesting takes, and uh, I guarantee it will be an absurd fun night. So Sunday night, check that out they at are. Revolution Hall. They're wacky. It's it's a good time. And then just real quick, want to mention Monday, uh, Laugh Basement at Goodfoot. So even on a Monday night, you can find some comedy. Uh, it's, it's every night of Absolutely. the week. Absolutely. Really it's a super consistent show. And this Monday, Susan Rice is a headliner. If you don't know Susan Rice, she is the grand dame of Portland comedy. She's been doing it since like the 80s. She has road dog stories up the wazoo. She is just like, she holds court in a way that no other comic does in <laughs> Portland. So go see some Portland history on Monday at Laugh Basement. Awesome. Oh, Very cool. Dylan, thanks so much for being Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks so for much, Dylan. Me. Yeah, go see Great some comedy. Great to have you. Great recommendations. Uh, we look forward to more of them in the future. We're going to have Dylan back next week, and you can learn more about Kickstand Comedy and all the fun stuff they have going on all the time at kickstandcomedy.org.